Shalom! Welcome to another of our weekly emails. This week, we're going to explore the beautiful service that ends Shabbat, Havdalah. Havdalah separates Shabbat, Kodesh, holiness, from the rest of the week, which is referred to as Chol, the rest of the week. So this is a beautiful service that's short, that has a lot of different parts for people, and is a great thing to do at your home. Attached to this email is a sheet that looks like this. One side has uh, the first part of Havdalah, and the second part has the brachot on it. There's a how-to on each step of how to do each of the brachot and how to sing it. And today, Isaac and I are going to play the melody that is a beautiful melody, and we're going to stop in between each of the brachot to show you how to do each of the brachot in a little bit of its significance. Yeah, 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 yeah. First it's the mouth for the Kiddush, then it'll be the spices, the Bissamim, and then it'll be the candle, the Nair, that would be the third uh, of the Brachot. So we start with Kiddush, and we hold the, the Kiddush cup like this under our hand as a way of saying this is separate from other blessings, other cups that we hold, and this is holy. Shabbat that will carry us through until we get to next week when Shabbat will start again. So the Kiddush cup could be held by one member of your family. The Bissamim, the spices, which can be any spice, these look like cloves, you could use any spice for uh, Bissamim, should be held by someone else in your family. And their job is to make sure that after we say the bracha, everyone gets to smell the beautiful smells uh, of the Bissamim so that that smell of Shabbat will stay with them throughout the entire week. Shabbat by creating light as well. And this light, this warmth, and this glow that comes off the Havdalah candle will be another way that we carry ourselves throughout the week, the Chol, the rest of the week, until Shabbat, Kadosh, Kodesh, again. There's a tradition, actually, to hold the Havdalah candle as high as you want your spouse to be. So, 
I think Jessica's about this tall, so I'll hold the, the Havdalah candle this high. And you'll notice at the end of the bracha, I will be holding my hands up to the light so that I see the shadows in my hand, the reflection in the, of the light off of my hand. That'll be the first time we see the separation of the light that we've created as we start the new week. So you'll see people hold their hands up to the light to see the shadows. Baruch together to create these symbols that help us end Shabbat and start the week. The last bracha of Havdalah talks about the, the separation between Kadosh, the holiness of Shabbat, and the rest of the week, and how we hope that this holiness of Shabbat, the specialness of Shabbat, will carry us through the entire week as we get ready to start Shabbat again in just seven more days. This last bracha is a little bit longer and has a couple different parts. The person who did Kiddush should be holding the Kiddush cup uh, during this. And at the end of this uh, bracha, the last bracha that said, they'll take a sip, just one sip of the, of the grape juice. And then after the last bracha is said, we will e extinguish the candle into the grape juice for the Lord. Baruch time to give a, a big hug and a kiss to your children and wish them a good week. There are some traditions with the grape juice or the wine from the Kiddush cup. Some people say that you should dip your finger into this, this special grape juice and then put it in your pocket and you'll come into wealth. Or you should put it behind your ears and you'll come into knowledge. All kinds of different traditions. Um, a lot of them that uh, my grandparents taught me. Um, they're all listed here on the sheet that explains how to do Havdalah. We hope that this tune will help you do a Havdalah at home. It's really a beautiful service and a great way to start the week together. Shabbat Shalom and Shavuot Tov! Shavuot Tov!